Welcome to the channel. I'm Justin B. McBride. Behind me here is Ryan the Temp, this 2021 Outer Banks Bronco in Antimatter Blue. And then we got Franco Bronco with us, which is a first edition Sasquatch Bronco. And we're out here on the Pony Express. So a couple Broncos on the Pony Express, it just seems appropriate. Um, now you might be looking at this video and thinking to yourself, Justin, your video quality is a little off. Your sound is a little off. It's just, it's not you. And that's because I'm filming this entire thing on my phone, the whole thing. So the entire trip today and tomorrow, the whole adventure will be filmed on my phone because I get asked all the time how to film adventure videos on the phone. We're gonna do it. And then there'll be a follow-up video to this video that talks about all the gear and everything. So as this video moves through, the quality should improve on the video because I'm gonna add gear to the phone. So So we've made our first stop. We're here at Lookout Pass and I'm gonna add some stuff to the phone here that should, well, improve things. You should probably not see my arm anymore, which will be very helpful. We're gonna add a Gorilla Pod and then we're gonna throw a microphone on and hopefully that helps with audio as well. Now we've got the microphone connected, a little tripod. This should feel a little bit more natural. This should look a little bit more like a typical vlog. Uh, however, if you are just filming on your phone, that'll look great. You saw what we just did and that was just the phone, nothing else. Just in camera and i gotta say it looks pretty freaking good for just phone footage but here we are we're at lookout pass we are going to make our way through this little well this pass behind me and then hopefully camp on the other side wake up early and then make the rest of the drive all the way to the bonneville salt flats tomorrow all on the pony express so it's kind of fitting right a couple broncos pony express just makes sense it's just it's what they should be doing made it to camp that wasn't so bad sun is still quasi up pink sky so I'm gonna just get the bed ready sleep it inside of the Bronco tonight using the deep sleep and then kind of get my gear out set up you know the kitchen area probably just right there that looks like a good spot need some food So here we are in the Bronco, set up for bed, and like I can't, I can't even touch the end. So tons of room. I'm, uh, I'm like 5'9", five 5'10", five and plenty of room down there. So gonna be comfortable tonight. I think that this is roomier than the Jeep even. And I really like, I've got a spot to put my shoes. But yeah, this is comfortable. Um, concerned about a little bit of wind noise with the soft top but it's not crazy windy now. It was when we were driving in today. But yeah, that, I think, look at that. That's just awesome. This is gonna be, this is gonna be nice. Get a good night's rest. So, uh, about to turn in, wake up tomorrow. We'll add some more components here to the phone, improve the quality just a few more notches, 
have a good drive. Have a good little adventure. So good night. Good morning. It's uh, it's like 6.15 in the morning right now. We had to wake up because we've got a lot of ground to cover. I slept great. Sleeping in that was spectacular. Uh, if you remember and if you caught my Pony Express series I did back in January, I slept in the Jeep during that entire trip and this was very familiar to that. In fact, if it was the middle of the night and I woke up, I probably thought I was in the Jeep, other than being on the other side of the vehicle. But it was great. Uh, we have a lot of ground we need to cover today. These guys are trying to get all the way back to the Bay Area as well as do, you know, the small portion of the Pony Express today. So I'm gonna get a light breakfast, pack up, hit the road. As far as changes to what we're doing on the phone here, I've switched to an app called Filmic Pro. This lets me control my shutter speed, so in low light situations like this, I can make sure it doesn't boost my ISO and get really noisy and gross. I can keep it pretty low and then just deal with what ambient light I can create. Uh, I think it'll just give a cleaner image, even though it might be pretty dark. So that's what's going on here, is we're using Filmic Pro now, and then we still got the mic and uh, the tripod somewhere, so I'm just holding on to the camera. But Filmic Pro, definitely recommend this obviously. Okay, we're packed up, we're ready to roll. I love doing this, this is fun. And filming on a phone's great. As it gets brighter, we're gonna have to add an ND filter. So I've added my moment case so that I can screw some ND filters on there, make this look good. This is, this is calm, I love it. Let's go get rowdy. All right, it's a little windy out here, so I've switched to just the standard focal length camera, and uh, that way you don't see my microphone with the dead cat up on it. But there is another trick we're gonna add, and that's one of the moment lenses. So I have the moment anamorphic lens, which creates a wide angle without adding wide vertically, so it only adds wide width, if that makes sense. Uh, so we'll add that later, but here we are, Simpson Springs. I have never made it to Simpson Springs as fast as we have today. These Broncos are killing it out here. This is what they were made for. This long, flat, you know, washboardy stuff just to blow over that. Mm, beautiful. So, uh, may have been going a little too hard. Looks like these guys may have gotten their first flat here on the Sam Squatch. So, let's see what's going on. What it looks like. So there you go. Wouldn't be adventure if something didn't happen. The good news is these guys were prepared. They had that plug kit and a compressor, so we don't have to take the tire off deal with all the stuff I'm tired of. That's never fun. It's never fun. Uh, to the left, like in the roll cage. Yeah. Well, the update is all the plugs didn't work. The hole's just too large. We filled it with like four of them and it's still just a slight leak. It's like, you don't want to drive a trail on a plug tire that's slowly draining. So making the decision just to swap the tire and uh, get them on a full size spare. So we'll do that. Then back on the trail, we, I mean, it kind of sucks because we're like 80% done, but that is adventure for you. So let's, let's change a tire.
Oh, good news. The tire has changed, so back to the trail. It's hot. It's getting hot. Hopefully we don't have any more issues. Just Let's just get there. Also, I'm so jealous. So freaking jealous. Let's just, let's just keep going. Well, wouldn't you know it, the salt flats are closed. Private event, uh, it's speed trials for motorcycles this weekend week. It's the middle of the week right now. So we're not getting onto the salt flats. So Franco Bronco and them, so Frank and Alex, they just left and now I'm just gonna go home. So that's kind of it. It's just the way adventure goes sometimes. I had fun filming this on my phone. Uh, I know there were weird parts where like the microphone kind of crept into the shot. I'm gonna come up with an answer on that. I think it turned out all right. I don't know, I haven't edited yet. So we're gonna find out together when I get back to the editing bay and put this together. But I'm happy to say you can film an adventure video on your phone, totally possible. And uh, I might do it again another time, just to you know hone in a little bit, come up with more nuances that I can share with you. But I think that does it. So if you like the video, then please like the video. If you have a question, leave me a comment. And if you wanna hang out again, well make sure to subscribe. Till next time, I'm Justin B. McBride.